Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael and I am a second year medical student at UCLA. In this video, I wanna talk about why you should handwrite your notes instead of type them and all of the evidence behind that. This is the first video in a series of videos on evidence-based study tips. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you subscribe. Now I think the interesting thing about this topic is that initially it might seem a bit counterintuitive. You might think to yourself, well, if I'm taking notes on a laptop, I can type a lot faster than I can write, so I can get more information down, so therefore it must be more efficient to take notes on a laptop. But when you look at studies on this topic, you see graphs like these, in which people who handwrite their notes perform a lot better on tests than people who type their notes on a laptop. So why might this be the case? Well, one thing that the study noted is that when you're typing notes during a lecture, you're much more likely to copy down word for word what the lecturer is saying or what's on the slides. And that makes sense, right? Because you can type a lot faster than you can write, it's much more feasible to do this while you're typing. But what you might not realize is that when you do this, you aren't actively processing the information. I'm sure I'll do a video on this at some point and there are plenty of videos out there about this, but active learning is significantly more effective in getting you to remember information than passive learning. When you're copying down a lecturer's words verbatim or word for word, this becomes what is essentially a mindless transcription process. And one of the things that the study I mentioned found is that the more mindless transcription that goes into your notes, the worse your test performance is. When you handwrite your notes though, it becomes much more of an active process of you figuring out how am I going to consolidate this information into as few words as possible so I can actually write it all down. So this is one reason behind the improved performance. But you might think to yourself, well, if I just take notes on a computer but avoid mindlessly copying things down and just tell myself I'm going to actively think about everything, then I'll get the best of both worlds, right? I'll get more information down and I'll get the benefit of thinking through the information. So theoretically this should work great, but when they did a second study where they gave each student a laptop and told them not to mindlessly copy down the lecturer's words, they didn't do any better than the students who were just given a laptop and not told anything. And they still did significantly worse than students who hand wrote their notes. So it's clear that that strategy won't work for most people. Now, one thing that I didn't mention about the previous two studies was that between the time they took the notes and the time they took the test, the students weren't allowed to actually study their notes. So while those studies might do a good job of telling us how well these strategies work for getting us to learn information right off the bat, they don't do a good job at realistically representing what it's like to be a student and what students are really doing because students will actually study before they take a test. So they ran another study with this in mind. They split the students into four groups. One group was told to handwrite their notes but wasn't allowed to study them before the test. One group was told to handwrite their notes but they were allowed to study them before the test. One group typed their notes, wasn't allowed to study them, and the final group typed their notes and were allowed to study them. And this is where it gets really interesting. For three of the groups, they did fairly similar, but one group stood out, and that was the group that both handwrote their notes and studied them. They did significantly better studying both factual and conceptual information. So again, it's clear that the active process of handwriting your notes benefits you significantly more than the extra information you can write down when you're typing your notes. Now, there are some advantages to having your notes in a digital form, and I don't wanna downplay those. For example, having your notes in an organized system and stored on the internet can allow you to access your notes wherever you are on one single device as opposed to carrying all of your notebooks around with you. And this allows you to study at any place in any time and the benefit of that is tremendous. Fortunately, stylus technology has gotten so good that with a tablet or a pen enabled device, you're able to get the benefits of both, both handwriting your notes and storing them in a digital form. This is what I do for medical school and I also add in a few tricks to take advantage of the fact that the lectures are online so if you're interested in that, check out this video that I made on how I take notes in medical school. So that's it for the main part of this video, but I did want to give a bit of a channel update. So starting today, this Thursday, I will be uploading every week for the foreseeable future. At least that's my goal. I really want to be able to help as many people as I can, and I know that uploading consistently is a big part of that. Also, a bit of a life update, UCLA just announced a couple weeks ago that for second year medical students, we are no longer required to go to any of the in-person classes this fall. We will have online equivalents available if we elect to do that. And because I have four years of a PhD to catch up on all of the clinical stuff I'll miss, and because I don't wanna pay thousands of dollars in rent, 
just to go to a somewhat dangerous in-person class. I have decided that I'm gonna stay in the Midwest for this semester and then plan to move back after that. So if you were really excited about seeing my videos in LA, don't worry, I still have six and a half years of a program after that where I'm guaranteed to be in LA. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you found this helpful.